Welcome dear students, this is Dr. Hadi here. Uh, dear students, uh, today's topic is uh, from the biochemistry, uh, triglycerides or triglycerol or acylglycerol. We will discuss the structure of acylglycerol and the types of acylglycerol. So let's start with first. Um, in the definition of the acylglycerol, it is mentioned that these are the esters of fatty acid and glycerol. Forget about this definition. Before you got the definition, before you got the definition of the acylglycerol, come to ester. What is ester? An ester in organic chemistry is a compound that is formed by the combination of two different types of molecules. One is the acid and another one is the alcohol. Means when two compounds, when two compounds, acid and alcohol, when these two compounds are combined, then the new compound will be called as ester. How we write an acid, an acid can be shown by this formula, simple formula R C O O H. Any acid you can take, butyric acid, pentanoic acid, hexanoic acid. So any acid we can represent this in simple form like R C O O H. And the alcohol can be represented in, in this short formula R O H. OH is necessary for alcohol OH is necessary and for acid COOH is necessary R is no matter R may be one carbon two carbon three carbon a side chain a variable group so when these two compound like this is an acid and this is an alcohol when these two combine together of course there will be a release of one water molecule and then these two will combine together and the new compound will be R C double bond O O R. This is a general representation, a general formula to represent the esters. So acylglycerol is an ester. So when we say acylglycerol is an ester, definitely one thing come in our mind that this is formed by the definition of an alcohol and an acid and today we will give you some uh, more important examples of the acylglycerol and also you will get how these are combined and, and structure wise now the acylglycerols are of three types number one is monoglycerides what is monoglyceride mono means one and glycerides you already got means when one fatty acid if one acid fatty acid is also an acid if one fatty acid combine with one glycerol fatty acid is that part acidic part and glycerol it is not you cannot say it is directly an alcohol but it is alcohol because it contain OH groups there are three OH groups in the structure of the glycerol. You will be provided the structure later on. So when one fatty acid combined with one glycerol, one acid, one alcohol, then we got monoglyceride. Mono for one fatty acid. And then we have diglyceride. A diglyceride is formed by the combination of two fatty acids molecule and one glycerol then we have triglyceride in triglyceride there are three fatty acids and one glycerol so three fatty acid and one glycerol when these combine together we got triglyceride or triglycerol there is no difference these are same thing triglyceride or triglycerol no problem and now we will discuss how the three fatty acid and glycerol, one glycerol combine so it will help us to understand other structure as well so come here is we have a glycerol here this is a glycerol actually i'm going to tell you that how a triglyceride is formed this is an uh, this is a glycerol a glycerol the structure of glycerol is 
three carbon and with every carbon there is one OH group. So because of this OH group, we, we can consider it as an alcohol, glycerol. So in while giving name to the compounds that contain OH in the alcohol family, we, we add the word ol, ol at the end. So this is glycerol, means it is from the alcohol family. One glycerol is there and here we have three fatty acids. Remember, fatty acid is not a single compound. Fatty acid is the family name of different compounds because in fatty acid we have we have the general formula as R and C O O H. This is called carboxylic group and this is called a side chain. Side chain maybe maybe uh, one CH2 or uh, two CH2 or it may be three carbon, it may be four, five, 10, 19, 18 carbon. So because of this reason, we do not have a single fatty acid. We have different fatty acids. So in order to write fatty acid, we always write the simplest form of the fatty acid. We, we do not show uh, all the CHCH side chain. We just write R. This COOH can also be represented as in more proper form, that is, R C double bond O and OH. This is the more uh, uh, original form of the COOH. This is the most simple and this is the real structure of the COOH. C double bond OH. So this is our fatty acid. Now here we have one fatty acid R C double bond O OH. And then we have second fatty acid R C double bond O O H and we have third fatty acid R C O O H. What will happen? That in order to make an ester bond, ester compound you got, ester bond, we need to remove one O H completely and from other side only a single hydrogen. Means here this OH will be removed along with its bond completely, along with its bond completely. And here, from this OH, only the hydrogen will be removed. So this OH along with its bond and this hydrogen, they will combine to give us one H2O molecule. One H2O molecule. And then here, we again we have OH and here we have OH. This OH will be completely removed from the fatty acid side and here only the hydrogen will be removed. Again, this will be another water molecule and here this OH will be com uh, removed completely and here only H will be removed. I guess was, so total of three H2O molecules will be released. And look, look, what will happen? If you remove this OH completely, this will take the electron of the carbon. Carbon will become electron deficient because it had four bonds. Now it has three bonds. So as a result, there will be a positive charge, electron deficient center. And here, the H is attached with the uh, oxygen. Oxygen is more electronegative. Oxygen will not let its electron to go with hydrogen. So this hydrogen will be removed in the form of H+. So when hydrogen is removed in the form of H+, the electron left will be on the oxygen. So if hydrogen is in A+, so there will be a negative charge on the oxygen because oxygen has now uh, abundance of electrons, more electron, it is now electron rich. Then there is a possibility, there is a possibility of a new bond that is formed between that oxygen and the carbon the carbon of the uh, fatty acid and the oxygen of the glycerol there will be a bond and we will show that bond here like this episode now here r c double bond o there is a, a bond so it is a bond it is oxygen and let me write this bond with a new line now this is the new bond that is formed and then we have oxygen once uh, oxygen make bond the negative charges dis disappear then we have CH2, okay? Then here again, same process will be there. 
it will be a bond and bond new bond and this oxygen and carbon oxygen and carbon there is a hydrogen so i have not mentioned ch you know these two carbon are also linked with one another ch and then here we have another oxygen carbon and ch2 this is ch2o and these three carbon are linked with one another so we got a new bond here so this is easter bond this is also easter bond this is also easter bond that is why we use the word tri acyl glycerol now this is a quite new compound and that new compound generally you can call it this is an easter because its formula is r c double bond o o and this whole comes under the heading of the r r c double bond o o r r c double bond o o r and this is the formula of r r c double bond o o r easter so this easter is now called as um, tri tri acyl glycerol or tri acyl glycerides or simply triglycerides you can call it in any name can we okay so we got finally the structure of triglyceride how it is uh, it is formed now there are some points on the whiteboard that is the triglycerides that we have just discussed here these are also called as the neutral fats because they do not have uh, charges like the phospholipids which contain a negative charge so they do not have such charges so th th that's why they are called as neutral lipids point number one point number two these triglycerides are the fuel source in our body in the animals and we, we got our fuel mainly from the glucose right but we, our body also get secondarily the um, energy and heat from the uh, these triglycerides so this is our stored fuel it is present in our body and you know where these are present at different places but major places for these is the number one is the subcutaneous I mean below the skin below the skin the fatty person has more fats below the skin you, you can see it and there is the abdominal cavity your abdomen uh, also have these fatty acid if you are a sportsman if you are an athlete definitely you have struggled you've done more efforts to decrease your fats because of this reason but those people who are not athletes who have uh, very large bellies you know uh, they have triglycerides in their bellies and it is very difficult to 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 melt that belly it need severe exercise and diet and then we have uh, the triglycerides or uh, of two types one we call simple triglycerides and second we call mixed triglycerides is uh, we know that this are represent the side chain this are represent the side chain now see if it is a carbon 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 all are carbon side chain last ch3 so this fatty acid is a saturated fatty acid and if this is also a saturated fatty acid c c c c and ch3 if this is also saturated and here uh, this we also c c c c c h3 all the, uh, the the fatty acids are saturated or all the fatty acids are unsaturated means if these fatty acids are similar if these fatty acids are similar fatty acid that will be called as simple triglyceride and if it is called mixed mixed means the first one is saturated the second one is unsaturated. somewhere there will be a double bond in between the side chain somewhere one or two double bond and and the the third one may be saturated or unsaturated maybe it is saturated or unsaturated if this kind of triglyceride came to us we will call it it is a mixed triglyceride so in today's my whole lecture we uh, got the definition of the acyl glycerol we got the types of acyl glycerol mono di and tri we also got the structure of how uh, a triglyceride is formed by the combination of one fatty three fatty acid and one 
acyl N1 glycerol. And also we got some more points uh, regarding the uh, these um, triglycerides. Uh, I hope you got to understand. If you understand, give us a like and also subscribe. Thank you. Take care.